Okay, hi, I'm Ruby5, this is Vega Co. Probably got a load of reflection again, so you're going to see my face through most of the video. Um, you'll be fine, get over it. This is the latest version of Vega Co. This is the work in progress build that we haven't released yet. I just wanted to show you guys that we are still working on things, and I want to show you a couple of the changes that we've made before we release it. Um, I'm going to try and be as quick as I can, because I don't want to bore everybody, but the biggest change that we've made at the moment is we've re built um, the whole of the unit in the RAM disk um, because one of the biggest problems that we had after introducing the stability fix in 1.4 the speed decreased by a significant amount so 1.3 was quite quick but crashed a lot 1.4 was slower but didn't crash at all it was pretty much rock solid um, we didn't want to reach a happy medium because I didn't want it to be slightly uh, slightly stable and slightly quick so we've rewritten the whole damn thing and redone all the memory tables to hopefully keep both so hopefully now we're going to have speed and we're going to have stability so the idea here is we're going to have the stability of 1.4 and the speed of 1.3 if not maybe a little bit quicker if we're lucky and we're not a bit shit um, so I'm not going to show you too much we've got market it's reasonably fast not exactly rocket science, so it's probably not going to slow things down too much. Uh, maps. So, looks like I was spying on somebody in maps. That's now crashed. Oh no, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, your maps is maps. Look at that, fantastic. Right. And then, everybody keeps saying, yeah, show off, uh, show off your Android with Google Body. I don't really know what Google Body does. I've never really used it. I installed it to show this video off, so... Um, what do we do? That? Okay, cool. There you go. There's some Google Body. I don't really know why you'd want this. Check it out. There you go. Here's my amazing Tigra 2 device. 3D ovaries. Look at that. So that's amazing, 3D ovaries, everybody likes a bit of that. Um, plume, which is awesome on honeycomb. Nice and fast. Uh, we've got, what have we got? I don't know, Gmail. So, everything should be nice and quick there. Let's check out the stock browser. There we are. Some searching, go for some amazing clicking on some buttons. Flash still isn't working at the moment in this build, that's something that we're still working on. Oh, I think my internet connection's dead because it's crap. I need to go and throttle somebody at Virgin, but so here we go. So we're pretty quick at the minute. Let's launch something else. We launched all of that, let's fire up Dungeon Defenders and see how it behaves. Yours is crashed now just to piss me off. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. So, that's working okay. Nice and quick. So, let's just fire this up and I'll see if I can show you something else that we've got working. Cool. So, uh, lovely, lovely, lovely and quick. No hard lockups. This game was the one that we were testing the hard lockups lock on before, and it was pretty much killing, killing us every time. So now, with the game running, we can bring up the pop-up, and I will show you one of the other things that is now working. Hopefully. So if we go into settings, and my Windows laptop boots up. Um, if, we, if you go to screen in settings, you've got a screenshot option. Tick that. What that'll do is, your recent apps button that's down here on the taskbar, that then becomes, if you long hold it, it will take a screenshot. So we switch back to Dungeon Defenders, and I long hold that down there. If I'm actually pushing it, I'm not just, there we go. Screenshot saved. Stay in screenshot mode. So if you stay in screenshot mode and click yes, you can again hold it down and it'll take another screenshot. Do it again. Screenshot saves. Stay in screenshot mode. No, I don't want to. So there we go. So that that was.
causing force closures before that's fixed now. Let's come all the way out. So you can see it's quick. And we haven't had any lockups and we're la launching some pretty hefty apps. This was how I was killing it before. I was launching basically every big app that I had on the thing and seeing if we were killing it and it wasn't killing it. There we go. Right. So that's pretty much all we can show about that. Right, so another thing that was dying was certain applications like TweetDeck were force closing. So oh, I haven't set TweetDeck up, so let me just set my Twitter account. And you can look at my hand for a bit while I type my password in. There we go. Did I type that in right? Oh crap. I don't want to do that. I just totally pushed the wrong thing. Oh no, Twitter's working. Okay, so there we go. So, this was one of the things that was crashing before. Um, we were missing one of the frameworks. There was a, there, this would have been affecting quite a few apps. So, within quite a few apps that you install from the market that would have just forced closed without any prejudice whatsoever. Um, most of them will probably now be fixed. Anything that was crashing basically as soon as you launched it should hopefully now be fixed. We will. There we go. So Google Talks working great. I haven't got the camera working yet, unfortunately. Um, what are the other things that we've got fixed so far? Ah, there's a good one. Oh, but I haven't got my phone, have I? Okay, you're gonna have to take my word for this one then. Bluetooth at the moment is working. Uh, Bluetooth will search for, find, and pair um, with phones. We've tested it on four different phones now. I haven't tested it with anything else because I haven't got anything else that's Bluetooth, but it should all be working. It should be pairing with whatever you've got. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I can't think of anything else at the moment, but those are the things we've got going on at the minute. We've got some more stuff going on right now as well. Um, oh. There's another big one, but I haven't got anything on this to show you. Here's the screenshots that I took while I was in the game earlier, which is nice because we haven't been able to take any screenshots on um, on the Tiger devices before. So there we go. We can take them now. Uh, one of the, th the other things that's fixed, but I can't show you because I don't have any on here, is the issue um, with the Vega not finding any music. Um, so if you had a bunch of music on your SD card and the Vega wasn't finding any of it, wasn't searching for it properly and finding it so that you can actually listen to it, that should be fixed now as well. So hopefully now you shouldn't have any problems listening to music or looking at any pictures you've got on there or you know porn or whatever you've got. Uh, there's probably more stuff that I've forgotten. If there is, I'll put another video together later. There you go.